I have a feeling that that could lead to some ecstasy. <laughs> I'm a freak, bro. How do you know I don't have a bee in my butt? Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy, the only talk show run entirely by hamsters and a dozen people at Comedy Central. You know my guest today is one of the creators and stars of Workaholics. I know him as my ultimate hair goals. It's Blake Anderson. Hey, man. Howdy! <laughs> it's good to see you, man. How you been? It's good to see you as well. I think I'm doing as well as one can. I was joking somewhat facetiously, but not really about your hair. I admire your hair. I'm happy to see it's it's it's... It's in full Blake Anderson mode. It's, uh, yeah, it's trying to take over my, my body. What's the regimen? What do you, what, what's your hair care? You know, sh shampoo, if I sweat a lot, I drive a Jeep and there's no top. So I say, you know, it's, it's really a product of American wind. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by American Wind, this hair. I literally can't imagine you with different hair. Did you literally come out of the womb with that hair? Just a Wookiee coming out of my mother. Yeah, the doctor just screaming. Ah! Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> He's coming! Ah! <laughs> would you shave it all off for the right project? Yeah, I think I would, depending on what uh, Marvel character I was playing or Star Wars <laughs> universe uh, character they were asking me to be. I do want to see you as a, a stormtrooper with just hair coming out of the helmet. Yeah, like a football player, like Troy Palomalu, that'd be sick. So I, I have a challenge for you, Blake, because I feel like in these times we're, we're finding out who our real friends are. Mm. You've obviously got some two close friends in Anders and Adam. Here's my test for you. I want you to text both of them at the same time. Whoever answers first, once and for all, we're going to know who is the better friend. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Durs will respond first, but... <laughs> But this is cute. I like this idea. Why do you say that? Why do you, why are you so sure of this? What's it? Eleven o'clock. Adam's probably still sleeping. Are you gonna cry if neither of them texts back? No, nah, it's just that will be the official end of our friendship. <laughs> it was a good run. We had a good run. Okay, I say whoever texts back first is a better friend to me. Okay. <laughs> this is good. This is either going to cement the friendships or end the friendships. I feel like I'm doing a service to all of you today. <sighs> Thank okay, you. Okay, we're gonna wait for that beep. In the meantime, is quarantine life for you that much different than normal life? I feel like maybe not, but you tell me. You know, I, th I yeah. oh geez, look at this. Whoa. Durs just wrote A. I told you. What did he say? He said, he just wrote A. <laughs> the letter I A. guess that we have a winner. Do we have a winner? Yeah, and then he wrote yes. What are you saying to him? You are a true friend, Adam is dead to me. <laughs> Oh, Adam's chiming in. Fuck, so I lost? <laughs> in quarantine life, would you do well living with your buddies, with Durs and, and Adam? I mean, I lived with Adam for quite some time, but those were those were younger days when, you, you know, now we're all curmudging the old men. We're the bosses of our own homes now. But Are you a good roommate? I think I'm all right. I think as long as you give me my, my puzzling corner, I, I, I'll be all right. Does that mean you're thinking about things or actually doing puzzles? I, I do nonstop jigsaw puzzles now. That, Are you like that, a 90 year old woman? What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? What is that? That's what I said about quarantine. I feel like it like sped up my entire like retirement life. I just do puzzles and like smoke weed and listen to the doors. That was my 30 year plan. And now I'm, I've arrived. Speaking of weed, given the circumstances, is there a limit? Like how much is too much to smoke right now given our present circumstances? Yeah, you really need to check in with, with everything you're consuming during, during quarantine, whether it be weed, alcohol, food, right. jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> well, that it's sounds not. like there's no limit on the jigsaw puzzles for you. You'd be surprised. It's, uh, it's, it's getting to be a problem. It's affecting my relationship. <laughs> Who is your dream person to smoke with? Uh, probably Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems likely to happen too. That's probably gonna happen at some point. Yeah. Like just kind of like go to Hawaii, check out the hometown, smoke Maui Waui, that'd be sick. <laughs> So tight. Congratulations are in order on your uh, new show for Hulu called Woke. I've checked out the first couple episodes. It's awesome. Do you consider yourself a woke person, Blake? Yeah, I, I try. I mean, some people are so woke. It's like, I don't even know if it's, it's obtainable, but, <laughs> but damn it, I try. I try. The main character in, in Woke has kind of a public breakdown that jeopardizes 
his career. Has that ever ever happened for you where you've done something where you're like, oh, the career's over? There's been a few instances, I suppose. I did a while back this movie called Dope, not to be confused with Woke. Um, <laughs> and the day I did press for it was the day after the Golden State Warriors, when I'm from the Bay Area, so this was a big moment, had just won the finals. So I got, rightfully so, very hammered, okay? I was still obviously so drunk. Anyways, I... I was doing like a interview for some place in Cincinnati and the guy was just kind of like this funny dude or whatever, but I ended up dropping an F-bomb and they cut the feed. They cut the feed on me. And it was like right at that moment, I, up until that point, I'd just been like, I'm just drunk rolling through it. And then all of a sudden, everything in my brain clicked like, oh shit, this is... It's over. Yeah, like, wow. <laughs> Thankfully, what ha the the empire I have built was built on being drunk and stoned. So they're just like, <laughs> well, the, like Fox was like, good job, Blake. They're like, this is on brand. This makes yeah. sense. I knew Blake was a freaking sick dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have some provocative would you rather questions. You ready? I'm ready. Would you rather run out of toilet paper or alcohol? I mean, you know, uh, I could go without alcohol. I mean, it would be a bummer, but if you run out of toilet paper at the wrong time, holy shit, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, gets a little nasty in there. Would you rather have to go to a frat party every night or never go to a party ever again? <laughs> oh, oh, that one's really, I feel like I've lived this. Uh, <laughs> Let the good times roll, man. Frat party every night. I'll be a frat baby. Let's go. I feel like it would evolve into a cool documentary or like psychological case study. Would you rather be high 24 seven or never touch pot again? At this point in my life, completely sober of mind and body. Let's see, let's see if I can get back to a base level. Would you rather always have a mouthful of chocolate or no teeth at all? Chocolate, chocolate mouth. I think I could run with that. Just always like, hi. <laughs> Finally, uh, Dakota Johnson once once posed this to me. Would you have? Would you rather have a mouthful of bees or a bee in your butt? Uh, I'll take the bee in the butt. I have a feeling that that could lead to some ecstasy. I'm a freak, bro. How do you know I don't have a bee in my butt? Okay, I don't need to know that. Uh, <laughs> buy me dinner first. <laughs> I feel like you're often putting yourself in harm's way. I think the last time I saw you was at Comic-Con where you had, uh, you said you had been concussed very recently. How, are, yeah. how have you been recently? Any major injuries? Are you putting yourself in harm's way? I did. I, uh, I broke my hand during quarantine. I uh, was bicycling, had a few margaritas late at night. It was garbage night and I ran into a garbage can. Why are garbage cans black? <laughs> Why That's aren't not the lesson. Our... That's not the lesson, Blake. That's not what we we're taking away from this. Oh, well, there's a way to there's a way to help this situation. I know I maybe I feel like Seinfeld right now, but they should be glowing <laughs> star. <laughs> Last challenge for you. We have a new game that we want to try out with you. We're calling this You're Muted. Okay. We're each gonna act out a phrase. We're not going to be able to use any words whatsoever. You ready? Okay. You're a robot. You're uh, stop in the name of love, um, Voltron. Uh, uh, you're. Uh, um, uh, 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 what do you say? Oh, you're you're a rock star. Um, heart um, and my your face is exploding. <laughs> you're super. You're Iron Man. You basically said it. What did I say? What was it? I am Iron Man. Oh, I am Iron Man. Yeah, I kind of got it. All right, my turn. Here we go. That's easy. May the force be with you. Yes, really? Okay, You're a lip I'm, reader, apparently. A little bit. That's a good shortcut. Now we know for the game, don't bother acting it out, just mouth it. Just mouth it, yeah. Not as fun, but. <laughs> I got it, you saying I cheated? No, you didn't cheat, it's just a less fun version of the game. Wow, well, that's what we're going for on Stir Crazy, the less fun versions of everything. <laughs> it's like looking at the box when you're doing a puzzle. You can do it. It's just less, it's less challenging, less fun. Really the saddest part of this whole experience is knowing how obsessed you are with jigsaw puzzles. This has made you so less cool in my mind. 
you know what? That's on you, okay? Because puzzlers are people too, okay? <laughs> um, congratulations on the new show, buddy. Woke is on Hulu. Everybody should check it out. I think yeah. we accomplished a lot today. Uh, if nothing else, we know that Durs is your best friend and Adam can suck it. A close second, but yes, dead to me. <laughs>